Let's face it, the warm weather and the beaches have always been here. They've been here since the existence of the country and even before that. But what is different in 2022 than any other time? I'm gonna tell you right now, you ready? Here are the top reasons of why everybody is packing their stuff and moving from wherever they are down to Florida in 2022 today. Reason number one, the phenomenal weather. It is absolutely gorgeous here all around the year, all 12 months. From time to time, we get a cold front and the temperature might drop down into the 60 degree range, maybe as low as 50 degrees overnight. But for the most part, we bounce right back up to the 75 range. This is tropical paradise, beach going weather. You can get into the ocean, you can go snorkeling, you can drive your car with the top down. The weather is the number one reason why people are probably moving to Florida. Okay, the number two reason is really what sets South Florida apart from the rest of the country. I mean, let's face it, there are other warm places in the United States, right? I mean, there's South Padre Island in Texas, there's San Diego in California, and there are parts of Arizona that are very warm too. So what makes Florida's warm weather more special than the other places' warm weather? I'm gonna tell you now. We have amazing beaches. And not only are they amazing to look at with their beautiful white sand and pristine electric blue ocean waves, but the proximity of the beach is usually within eight miles of wherever you live. So literally you can grab your beach chair, grab your cooler, throw it into your trunk, start your car and be at the beach within 30 minutes depending on where you live anywhere in sunny South Florida. You can't say that about many of the other places. We do have awesome, beautiful beaches that are super close and always in a tropical climate. All right, the number three reason. There's tons of stuff to do in Lighthouse Point, Florida. Restaurants, bars, clubs, boutiques, cities, suburbs, parks, recreation, boating, Water sports, the list is too long to name. Because of our tropical climate and our close proximity to beach life, there is a plethora of things to do. Whether you wanna get some wild action or if you just wanna relax and enjoy the pristine serenity of nature, it's all here and everything in between. There's tons of things to do in Lighthouse Point, Florida. And I recommend that you check out some of the other videos that I've posted by clicking the link below on this channel because I talk a lot in depth about all the little things to do whenever you're visiting. The number four reason, which probably could be the number one reason, and either way, it's awesome, and they all work together to funnel all the people from all over the world who are coming here now. And the number four reason is, are you ready? Taxes, yes, I said it. Taxes, the taxes are substantially lower in the state of Florida than anywhere else in the country. And in Lighthouse Point, Florida, they are significantly lower than other competing cities like Boca Raton or Parkland, for example. Both Boca Raton and Parkland are approximately 10 to 15 minutes away from Lighthouse Point, Florida. Either way, you're going to be on the up and up with superior savings on taxes living in a city like Lighthouse Point, Florida. And that's a major reason for you to really fall in love with a place like Lighthouse Point. Taxes, <laughs> taxes, beautiful, lovely taxes. <laughs> and finally, ladies and gentlemen, the number five reason, which is probably going to become the number one reason in 2022, because let's face it, the warm weather and the beaches have always been here. They've been here since the existence of the country and even before that. But what is different in 2022 than any other time? I'm gonna tell you right now, you ready? That is the politics. Yes, I said it, the politics, South Floridian politics, Florida in general, but South Floridian politics are superior. They're the most desirable in the entire country. We have Governor Ron DeSantis, of whom which 50% of the, of the country absolutely loves. 
and the person is just wonderful at his job. We are the free state of Florida. When you visit, you don't have to wear a mask. You don't need to show a vaccination card. People actually enjoy themselves. They look at each other, they smile, they hug, they high five, they have barbecues, they go to church, and guess what? The lowest infection rates in the country. Now, this video is not gonna be specific about vaccines and viruses, but you have to talk about the obvious. When you visit here and you walk out that door, you can go ahead and high five and hug some people and not get sick doing it. Oh, and you can do it without even having a vaccine. And that is a scientific fact. You can come and test it. And by the way, if you don't want to hug or high five or barbecue or do any of those other things, that's fine too. Do you know why? Because this is the free state of Florida and our political policies are superior and most desirable. So by all means, do what you want in the free state of Florida. All right, well, there you have it, folks. The top pros and cons of Lighthouse Point, Florida, specific to Lighthouse Point, and really, generally speaking, all of Florida, of why so many people are moving here, desiring to move here. I do not foresee any changes in the near future in this level of demand, and I do think that it's going to contribute to the overall appreciation and value of property in the next three to five to 10 years. You heard it here first, you can hold me to it.